Hi everybody, Fintan Murphy here from Dams and Cloud. This week I wanted to talk about team drives. And specifically the difference between a team drive and my drives, which is what you might be more familiar with within Google Drive. First, let's talk about availability. Team Drives is only available in G Suite Business or G Suite Enterprise. The only other way that you would see a Team Drive in your Google Drive environment is if someone shared a Team Drive with you. It will appear underneath your My Drive as a separate section in your Google Drive environment. One of the major differences between Team Drives and My Drive and one of the reasons that Team Drives was created is that the files and, and documents that you place within a Team Drive are owned by that Team Drive and by the organization that that Team Drive is a part of. In My Drive, files are owned by individuals and this causes huge challenges in organizations, particularly when people leave the organization and data is either lost or has to be migrated to another account, which is a huge administrative overhead. Permissions are also another huge difference in Team Drives. Within My Drive, you can actually have different permissions on different folders, and it's a little bit messy and difficult to manage for organizations. Within Team Drive, the minimum access that people can have is that they can view all of the files. So this makes it easier for people when sharing documents within Team Drives that they know that at the very minimum, everybody can see the files. Now, there are other permission levels that you can uh, have within a Team Drive, and I'm gonna go through those now. Within Team Drives, there are currently four levels of access. You can give someone view or comment access, which I think is self-explanatory, or you can give them edit or full access. Now, edit access is almost the same as full access with three key differences. An editor can't add or remove members of the Team Drive. They can't move or delete folders and they can't delete files. We've learned from Google that from this month, Team Drives is going to get an addition to its permissions, which is called Content Manager. And a Content Manager will be able to do almost everything that someone with full access can do, but they won't be able to add or remove members of the Team Drive, but they will be able to delete files and move files and folders around. So I think this is a great addition to the Team Drive permissions. As a follow-on from this, Google are also changing the names of what they're calling each of the permissions within Team Drives. So the person with full access is gonna be called Manager. The new one is Content Manager that I just mentioned. Edit Access is going to be changed to Contributor. And then Comment is going to become Commenter and View is going to become Viewer. I think this will probably make the permissions a lot clearer for people. Uh, and hopefully will make it easier for teams to know what permissions they should be giving each member of their team. Within Team Drives, there isn't granular permissions. So when you go into a subfolder within Team Drives, you don't have the ability to share that folder out with someone um, else within your organization and not share the rest of the content. Again, this is one of the key differences between Team Drives and My Drive. So that when someone enters a team drive and they look at the members of the team drive, they know that at the very minimum, everyone within this team drive can see all of the content within it. It makes it easier within an organization for people to feel confident uh, who has access to the data within a particular folder or team drive. Team drive owners, when you create a team drive, actually have the ability now to control certain permissions on that specific team drive, such as whether someone can share files outside of the organization, whether they can share files with non-Team Drive members, and whether they can download, print, or copy any of the files within your Team Drive. Trash is also different within Team Drives. Within My Drive, when you delete something and you send it to your bin or trash, it will actually stay there indefinitely until you decide to delete it. That is not the case in Team Drives. In Team Drives, when you delete something in a Team Drive, each team drive actually has its own little bin or trash, and it will only stay there for 30 days. So that's a really, really key difference compared to My Drive. And particularly if you're used to My Drives and you've been working with My Drives for years, this is gonna be a big change for you. So please note that one down. 
When a team drive is shared into your organization, Google puts a little key on it. So the little key, when you see it on a team drive, it means a team drive that's been shared from an external organization into, into your organization. This is important because again, any file that you place into a team drive is automatically transferring the ownership of that file over to that team drive. Now this is actually quite useful because it, you can use it to migrate data between one domain and another, but also very important for users to be aware because if you place a file in a team drive, it will actually transfer a permission of that uh, file over to that team drive. Next, I wanted to talk about team drives and admins and some of the additional features that admins get when their organization uses team drives. Admins can see all of the team drives within their organization from the Google control panel. And second, if they want, they can change their permissions on those team drives. So it gives them the ability to manage the permissions within the organization. They can also use groups to manage permissions. Google Groups allow you to have many users within a single group. So you might have sales team or HR team. And what it means is when someone joins the HR team or the marketing team and they're added to that group, they're also added to the team drive that that group is a part of and that team drive is pushed down to their account, making it easier to onboard new users within your organization. Finally, admins can decide who can create team drives. Is it administrators or can anyone in the organization create team drives? And this can be done from the G Suite control panel. That's it for me. I hope you enjoyed this week's update on team drives and my drive. Next week, I'm gonna be talking about the Google Drive file stream tool, which allows you to stream documents down onto your computer and doesn't take up unnecessary space on your machine by only streaming down the content that you're using. Incidentally, team drives and drive file stream work really nicely together and allow you to have your team drive content available to you on your computer. This is very valuable for those of you who travel or maybe sometimes don't have access to the internet. Thanks very much for watching. Talk to you next week.